Hajia Gambo Sawaba, 15th of February 1933, October 2001, remains a prominent Nigerian women's rights activist, politician, and philanthropist. Notably, she served as the deputy chairman of the Great Nigeria People's Party, GNPP, and held the position of leader in the National Women's Wing of the Northern Element Progressive Union, NEPU. Hajia Sawaba's lineage traces back to her father, Isa Amarte Amartefio, an immigrant from Ghana, and Fatima Amartefio, a Nupe woman from Lavan local government, Niger State. Isa Amarte Amartefio, a graduate of the Ghana School of Survey, migrated to Nigeria in 1910 with aspirations to work for the Nigerian Railway Corporation. Fatima, Hajia Sawaba's mother, hailed from a family with a legacy of blacksmithing and warriorhood, descending from Mamandazu, a great warrior widely consulted in his time. Isa Amarte, Amarte Fio, embraced Islam upon arriving in Zaria, where he later married Fatima. Fatima, a widow with three children from her previous marriage to Mohamedou Alao, welcomed six children with Isa, with Sawaba being the fifth. In adherence to Hausa naming customs, Sawaba was called Hajaratu at birth, but due to being born after twins, she was also named Gombo. Sawaba received her early education at the Native Authority Primary School in Tudun Wada, but had to discontinue her studies in 1943, following the loss of her father and, three years later, her mother. At the age of 13, she was married to World War II veteran Abu Bakar Garbabello, who left and never returned after her first pregnancy. Sawaba's subsequent marriages were marked by challenges, including a violent relationship with Hamidou Gusau. Noteworthy in Sawaba's childhood was her peculiar interest in the mentally challenged. She exhibited compassion by engaging with them, providing shelter and offering financial assistance. Described as headstrong, she often intervened in street fights to protect the vulnerable, stating, I could not stand by to watch a weak friend or relation being molested. She would declare, Okay, I have bought the fight from you, upon reaching the scene, taking over the fight in defense of the weaker party. Sawaba delved into politics at the age of 17, joining the opposition group Northern Element Progressive Union, NEPU, in a time dominated by the Northern People's Congress. An advocate against underage marriages, forced labor, and a proponent of Western education in the North, she gained recognition for fearlessly addressing a room full of men during a political lecture. Mentored by Funmilayo Ransom Kuti, Sawaba earned the name Sawaba, meaning freedom or redemption, from her political mentor, Malam Aminu Kano, after being elected president general of Nepu's women's wing. She is credited as a trailblazer in championing the liberation of northern women. Hajia Gambo Sawaba left an enduring legacy with a general hospital in Kaduna and a hostel at Bayero University, Kano, named in her honor. Throughout her activism, Sawaba faced imprisonment 16 times for openly opposing child marriage, forced and unpaid labor, unfair taxes, and advocating for women's employment, girls' education, and full voting rights. Recognized as the most jailed Nigerian female, she carried a blanket inscribed, Prison Yard, whenever arrested, symbolizing her unwavering commitment to the cause.